Okay, and we're back. Apparently we had a lot of extra storage that needed to be deleted out of there. So I do want to apologize. I don't know how this is going to all turn out in the end. Uh, we're having to stop here multiple times. But Jordan, here's your five packs. And uh, we're going to get right into these before something else catastrophic happens with my phone. <laughs> so happens when you have an iPhone 6, I guess. But <laughs> one, one day we'll get this all into a better situation. All right, Jordan, let's get into your five packs here. Now I'm praying for something great for you. Maybe we can get you a rankle or something. A dwarf token, fairy guide mother, tome raider, tall as a beanstalk, bartered cow, idyllic range, rose thorn halberd, raging red cap, reeve soul, mystic sanctuary, lockthrain paladin, skull knocker ogre. <laughs> That's funny. Oakham adversary, spinning wheel. And your rare is Iron Crag Feet. This was uh, this was a pretty penny for a while, uh, just because it uh, can do a lot. You know, spend four man, add seven red. You can only cast one more spell this turn. Put that seven man into something big, and you know, kind of jumps you ahead for something. But uh, the arts aren't really really cool as well. So nice job on that, Iron Crag Feet, Swamp, and the Dwarf Token. All right, might be able. We'll upload these some other way. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet, but we'll figure this all out with the mess. Uh, we have a nothing. Wishful Merfolk. Golden Egg. Prized Griffin. Didn't say please. Garenbrig Paladin. Weasel Cap Red Cap. Weasel Back Red Cap. Garenbrig Squire. Lockthwain Paladin. Red Cap Raiders. Forever Young, Shepherd of the Flock, Sire Elnora, the Discerning, another one of the knights. Uh, she's pretty good. Um, that just helps give her the defense, being that your opponents can't cast spells that cost two more. Wintermore Commander, Murderous Rider is your rare. Right, so the art on that is disgusting. And the island. Here we go. Human Rogue. Fling, great card. This is in my Brian deck. Fairy Guide Mother. Moonlit Scavengers. Tall as a Beanstalk. Return to Nature. Again, a great EDH staple. Crashing Drawbridge. It's actually a pretty good card, really. If you think about it, at first I would not give this a second look. But for two, you can drop out a 0 4 Defender and you can tap it to get your creatures haste. So that can actually help a lot. Searing Barrage. Fell the Pheasant, Lockthwain Paladin, Dwarven Mine, Mystical Dispute, interesting, Elite Headhunter, Clockwork Servant, and you got Yorvo, the Lord of Garenbrig as your rare, triple green, double zero, enters battlefield with four one one counters on him. Whenever another green creature enters battlefield under your control, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on your vote. If that creature's power is greater than your vote, put another 1-1 one, one counter. So uh, you get some big creatures on there, and you can really get him out of control. And forest. So nice on that one, Jordan. Here we go. Two more packs for you. All right, here we go. Run away together. Scalding Cauldron. Fortifying Provisions. Opt. Weasel back red cap, out muscle, blood haze wolverine. I feel like this doesn't make sense in this set. I don't know. Tempting witch, trapped in the tower, foreboding fruit, mad ratter, shepherd of the flock, alternate art, epic downfall. Ooh, opportunist dragon, two and double red for a four, flea fl four three flying dragon. When it enters the battlefield, choose target human or artifact and opponent controls, and for as long as the opportunistic dragon remains on the battlefield, you gain control of that permanent, and it loses all abilities, and it can't attack or block. So uh, you can really shut down somebody if you can keep the uh, dragon around. So kind of controls them. You can't use it, but at least it can shut them down for a while. And the planes. Very nice. That's pretty cool. All right, Jordan, let's get to your last pack here. Let's see how we do. Hopefully we can get some great up for you. It'd be nice to get double Oko. Maybe Rankle, Great Henge, Ember Cleave, something like that. All right, here we go. Merfolk Secret Keeper. 
Didn't say please. Ardenvale Paladin. Beloved Princess. Ogre Errant. Rose Thorn Halberd. Idyllic Grange. Barrow Witches. Charm Sleep. Tournament Grounds. Once and Future. Okay, Ranger, another one of the four costs. And here we go, your final rare. Oh my god, look what you got. A full art Garic Cursed Huntsman. Oh my god, that's phenomenal. He is four black and a green. He's this is prior to him having the curse lifted. Five loyalty for zero. Create a two two black and green wolf creature token. When this creature dies, put a loyalty counter on each Garic you control. Of course, you can have more than one Garic on the battlefield now. Minus three, destroy target creature and draw a card. That's really strong. And then his uh, ultimate is you get an emblem with creatures you control, get plus three, plus three, and have trample. Oh, man, that's awesome. Good way to end it out with a foil witch's oven, too. So I'm so happy, Jordan. You did great on those five, man. Ended it out in just the right way. All right. So put those off to the side to you, and we'll get into Tristan's here right now. So Tristan, you got five packs coming to you, buddy. Uh, wow, we've already got Ogo. We've already got Garak. Now you really got to go big with the great hand here. So let's get into it. All right, let's have this one here. This is on the adventure token. Here we go. Silver Flame Squire. Moonlit Scavengers. Prophet of the Peak. Bartered Cow. Moo. Merchant of the Veil. I love this card. Signpost Scarecrow. Garen Brig Carver. Steelgaze Griffin. Reaper of Night. Brimstone Trebuchet. All That Glitters. Turn into a pumpkin. Grum Gully, the generous. This is fun for uh, those gruel decks there. Um, yeah, as long as you use all non-human creature tokens, they enter with additional one one counter on it. You could you can do some stuff, but I generally if I'm gonna play him in an EDH deck, I'm gonna use him to support the rest of the deck. And your rare is the Midnight Clock. Very nice. Yep, very good. It's a nice one there. Alright, next pack for you. Again, I also thank uh, Game Zion for being able to get us this box here today for us um, so that we can do this opening for everybody. Their uh, link will be in the description uh, in the video, uh, however it ends up uploading. Um, even if it's partial or multi-part, um, we'll get this to go somehow. So we'll give them all the credit they deserve and we'll <laughs> make sure they figure this all out for next time. So junk token there. Shining Armor. Wishful Merfolk. Ginger Brute. Spore Cap Spider. Barge Inn, Wishes Cottage, Garen Break Paladin. I feel like we've pulled a million of these already in this box. Bacon to a Pie. I don't think it's dead. I don't think that pie is done. Flutter Fox, Festive Funeral, Shambling Soup, Claim the Firstborn. Oh, gross. Foulmire Knight, Charming Prince as your rare. One to white for two to human noble. When there's battlefield, you choose one. You either scry two, gain three life, or exile another target creature you own and return to battlefield under control at the beginning of the next end step. Chances are you're either going to scry because white doesn't really have a lot of access to scry, or you're going to blink your creature. Um, you're not going to really do the life. It's not really worth it. And then I'm out. All right, three more packs for you. A boar token. Prized griffin. Corridor Monitor, Golden Egg, Outflank, Crystal Slipper, Witch's Cottage, Out Muscle, Reeve's Soul. I think this is the first time we've pulled this in the whole box so far. Tempting Witch, Fierce Witch Stalker, Spectre Shriek is an uncommon, Slaying Fire. Kenra's Transformation, great card. We talked about that earlier. Great card in there. And your rare is Dance of the Mance. X, white, and blue. Sorcery, return up to X, target artifact, and or non or enchantment cards, each with confirmed mana cost X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. If X is six or more, those permanents are four or four creatures in addition to their other types. So you're going to put at least eight mana into this. You can get some four fours out of it. Uh, I could do something. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Two more packs for you, Tristan. Let's see how you do. Hope for something big for you to round it all out. Another one of these. All right, here we go. Tall as a beanstalk. Silver flame ritual. Opt. Eye collector. Blood haze at Wolverine. Crashing drawbridge. Rose thorn acolyte. Bacon to a pie. 
Dwarven Mine, Hypnotic Sprite, Bell of the Brawl, Merrileaf Pixie, this is a great card, 2-2 two, two for 2, and you can add green or blue, so this is great for Civic decks, given the ramp. And your rare is Gadwick the Wizened, X, triple blue for a 3-3 three, three Human Wizard, when he airs a battlefield, draw X cards, and when you cast the blue spell, tap target non land permanent opponent controls, so yeah, it could work out pretty good. And an Emberth Paladin in Foil. All right, let's get your last pack. And so hopefully something big. Let's go out big for you, just like we did for Jordan. And, you know, the Caesar guy is Oko. So I hope we can get something big for you here. All right, last pack. It's a human. Scalding Cauldron. Fairy Guide Mother. So tiny. Curious Pear. Lockthwing Gargoyle. Searing Barrage. Spore Cap Spider. Giant's Skewer. Unexplained Vision. This is part of the story spotlight. When Rowan and Will uh, found Kenrith. Foreboding Fruit. Archon of Absolution. Ooh, Beanstalk Giant in the alternate. Sorcerer's Broom. And Fires of Invention. I believe this got banned. It was too strong. Uh, it's three in a red, and you can cast spell. You can cast spells only during your turn, and each. Uh, and and you can cast no more than two spells each turn and you may cast spells with cmc which is now called mana value of the next set with mana value less than or equal to the number of land you control without paying their mana costs so uh you only get to cast that simple amount but being able to um, cast spells with the career mana cost less than or equal to the number of land you control without paying your mana cost is amazing so you're gonna get some spells for free out of this for sure not a bad way to end it and a forest there all right, so those were your packs, Tristan, there. And, of course, I believe, let's see, we had 22 packs there we opened, so we actually still have 14 packs left, which we're just going to leave off to the side um, for another day and just see what happens. Unless so they decide if they want to do them, and we'll do a separate video for the remaining 14. Uh, again, want to say thank you to Game Zion, our local you know, game store here, for helping us get this box of Throne of Elder Drain. It's uh, getting hard to come by in this area. Um, price starting to creep up especially on the mythics um so hopefully we'll be able to do another one of these for you guys down the road uh again thank you for coming by Cranko's corner um check us out on youtube guys uh, we've got several edh deck techs up and we'll have some more coming as well soon and i want to thank you all for stopping by we'll see you soon Bye bye